Hey everyone, welcome back to The Coding Journey. And in today's video, I'm going to share my top 10 must-have VS Code extensions that I use every day. These extensions will help you code faster, cleaner, and more efficiently. Stick around till the end because I'll be sharing a surprise tip that will take your coding experience to the next level. Open VS Code and click on the extension menu to open the extension tab. Search the React snippet and then select this one, ES7 Plus React Redux slash React Native Snippets. Here I have already installed, but in your case, you have to click on Install button. This extension is a game changer for React developers. It provides you with a ton of handy snippets to speed up your coding. For instance, typing our AFCE will automatically generate a React functional component with an export statement. Super useful, right? Next, we have Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. If you're using Tailwind CSS, this extension is a must-have. It provides autocomplete functionality for class names and also shows you potential errors. Here you can see that it provides us class name, which is very useful. We don't need to remember the classes. With this extension, you'll never have to worry about misspelling bgred400 as bgted500 again. Moving on, we have Prettier. Prettier is an opinionated code formatter that ensures your code is consistently formatted. It supports many languages and integrates seamlessly with VS Code. If your code looks shitty like this, you can simply hit save and Prettier will automatically format your code, making it look neat and clean. It's like having a personal maid for your code. Next up is Live Server. This extension launches a local development server with live reload feature for static and dynamic pages. It's perfect for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript development. After installing, look at the bottom. You can see the Go Live button just click on it and the project will open in browser. With Live Server, you can see your changes in real time. It's like magic, but for developers. Extension 5, Auto Rename Tag. Auto Rename Tag is a simple yet powerful extension that automatically renames paired HTML, XML tags. This is super helpful when refactoring your code. It's like having a twin who always knows what you're thinking. Rename one tag and the other follows suit. Extension 6, Image Preview. Image Preview allows you to preview images directly in your code. Just hover over an image URL and you'll see the preview. No more guessing what an image looks like. This is especially useful when working with image-heavy projects. No more switching back and forth between your code and browser. Extension 7, Material Icons. Material Icons replaces the default file icons with colorful and meaningful icons. This makes it easier to identify file types at a glance. I got so many messages and comment that which type of extension I use to get this type of eye-catching modern icons. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing videos. And don't forget to press the bell icon. And the theme you see in my all videos, I have used this awesome looking Firefly Pro theme. You just have to install it and your boring looking VS code will looks like this. Next we have GitLens. GitLens supercharges the Git capabilities built into VS code. It helps you visualize code authorship, explore commit history, and much more. If you use GitHub, then you should also use this. It gives you power to see all the code changes and authors in VS Code itself. It's like having a time machine for your code. You can see who made changes and when they were made. Last but not least, extension 10, Codium AI. Codium AI is an AI-powered code completion tool that helps you write code faster by suggesting completions and even whole lines of code. It's like having a coding buddy who never sleeps. The best thing is that you can use it for free. So those are my top 10 VS Code extensions that I use every day. I hope you found this video helpful and that you'll give some of these extensions a try. Let me know in the comments which extension you like the most or if you have any other recommendations. Thanks for watching.